Have you noticed your iPhone's battery life suddenly draining faster than usual? You're not alone. Many iPhone users have recently reported significant drops in battery performance, and it's most likely due to one of two factors, both related to software. If you're part of the iOS 18 beta program, this battery decline is, unfortunately, a common experience. Beta versions of iOS can cause temporary battery issues as they aren't fully optimized. For example, users testing the iOS 18.1 beta, like on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, have noticed considerable battery degradation. It's not surprising new beta features like Apple Intelligence consume more resources while running in the background. Even though the beta gives you early access to features, it can take a toll on the overall performance, particularly when it comes to battery life. The good news is once the beta testing period is over and you switch back to the stable version, battery performance shouldn't return to normal. Even if you're not on the beta program, installing the stable version of iOS 18 could still lead to temporary battery drain. According to Apple's own support page, after any iOS update, your phone might continue processing tasks in the background. This includes optimizing apps, running updates, and indexing files, which can impact battery performance for a few days. If you've noticed that your battery life has dipped after installing iOS 18, there's no need to panic. Apple suggests waiting a few days for things to settle, and the battery performance should automatically improve as background tasks complete. While you wait for the battery to stabilize after an iOS update, there are a few things you can do to extend your battery life. One, use low power mode. The simplest and most effective fix is enabling low power mode. You can activate this feature by going to settings greater than battery and toggling it on. Low power mode will pause non-essential background processes like app downloads, mail fetching, and background refreshes. It also reduces visual effects and disables haystary, which can help save battery power significantly. If you decide to use low power mode, you can always toggle it off once your battery performance returns to normal. Simply go back to settings greater than battery and turn it off. Two, consider using a power bank. If you're participating in the iOS 18 beta and want to continue testing, it might be worth investing in a power bank. A magnetic power bank that easily attaches to the back of your iPhone can give you extra juice throughout the day without being tied to an outlet. However, if your battery issues are likely to resolve themselves in a few days, Spending money on a power bank may not be necessary. To wrap things up, if you've noticed your iPhone battery life dropping recently, it's likely due to either the iOS 18 beta program or the normal post-update performance stabilization. In most cases, waiting it out for a few days should help return your phone to its usual battery life. In the meantime, using low power mode is a quick and free way to extend battery life. And if you're in the beta program for the long haul, consider a power bank to stay charged throughout the day. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more tips on maximizing your iPhone's performance. Stay tuned for our next video.